Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mina Rahma Aziza My ID number is 18212026 And I am from class A Here I would like to present my research proposal entitled The effect of games as a tool in teaching English vocabulary to young learners Well, let's get started The first point that I would explain is the background Everyone knows that vocabulary plays an important role in learning language, both a mother tongue and a foreign language. But for some people, learning vocabulary is certainly not as easy as it seems, especially for young learners who are just learning English. Using the usual teaching methods such as realia or others, sometimes making students quickly bored and not enthusiastic about taking lesson. That is natural because according to Slattery and Jane 2001, one of the characteristics of young people or young learners is having a very short attention and concentration span and so need variety. Also, another characteristic is love plaguing. Based on this, the research church decided to use a new way of teaching vocabulary, that is using games. Games are an activity that provides students with vicarious participation in a various role and activities with guidelines and objectives and full of fun, with the approaching model of the real-life situation. Uh, the games can be used in teaching English vocabulary are card uh, and board game and then contrast and then um, using objectives and so on. <clears throat> uh, these games are quite easy to do and don't have many rules in them, so the student will enjoy the games. On the slide, you can see that Fernon, the Fernon 2009 argued that games are an effective tool to teach vocabulary to young learners. Why games can be effective tool to teach vocabulary? The reasons are as stated by Huyen and Nga 2003. They said that games have been shown to have advantages and effectiveness in learning vocabulary in various ways. First, games bring relaxation and fun for students, thus help them learn and retain new words easily. Second, games usually involve friendly competition and they keep learners interested. Uh, this create the motivation for learners of English to get involved and participate actively in the learning activities and the third is vocabulary vocabulary games bring real-world context into the classroom and enhance students use of English is a flexible communicative way so I agree that games are an effective tool to teach vocabulary to young learners the second point is previous study. This research was conducted by Arum Nisa Wulanjani in her article entitled The Use of Vocabulary Games in Improving Children's Vocabulary in English Language Learning. In her article, she just exam examines the use of games as one of strategies in learning vocabularies for young learners. But this study, the researchers just focus on the effects of using games themselves, which can increase children's vocabulary. Uh, the third point is formulation the problem. By following the background above, this proposal was focused on what effects will occur after students learn vocabulary through games. So, the research question is, does the use of games have good effects on learning vocabulary? To answer that question, so the purpose of this research is made, is, is made. It is to know the effect of using games in teaching English vocabulary for young learners. Apart from that, other purpose is made too. 
it is to be used as the evidence that these games are very effective in the learning process, especially in teaching vocabulary. Now, let's move to the next point. It is literature review. The first is games. Hadfield 1995 claims that a game is an activity with rules, a goal, and an element of fun. There are two kinds of games. The first one is competitive games in which players or team race to be the first to reach the goal. And the second one is cooperative games in which players or teams work together towards a common goal. The emphasis of in the games is on successful communication rather than on correctness of language. The next is vocabulary. Finuciaro 1974 state vocabulary will make students practice the structure more easily. Basically, vocabulary can define as the words of a language, including single items and phrases or chunks of several words, which can be a particular meaning, the way individual words do. And then, vocabulary address single lexical items or words with specific meaning, but it also includes lexical phrases or chunks. Finally, the next is Young Learners. Philip 2003 claims that young learners are children from the first year of formal schooling or can be 5 or 6 years old to 11 or 12 years of age. In this study, the young learners age 11 to 12 years old or grade 6 elementary school students. Well, Let's move to another slide. It is the research procedure. Firstly, the population is from the elementary students, especially the 6th grade as the sample. The second, we do the questionnaires for the students and the teachers. And the third is start to giving the pretest as the data that will be analyzed in the end. The fourth is start giving treatment, that is using games to teach English vocabulary. After that is giving a post-test as a comparison with pretest. And the last is analyze the data that will be calculated using SPSS. Now, the last point is research methodology. The first is research design. This study is classified as experimental design because it is a little or no control of external variable. In the one group pretest post test design, a single group is measured or observed not only after being exposed to a treatment but also before. The second is population and sample. The population that will be used in this proposal is the student at SD Negeri Jelampung Hilir 2. It is located in Tasikmalaya district. And the sample is the 6th grade uh, that consists of 30 students. It is 21 girls and 11 boys. The third is time and place. The time that will be used is two months or from February until March 2021 and the place at SD Negeri Cilampung Hilir 2. The next is data collection. We will use the pretest and post-test. The last is data analysis. We will use normality test to determine it is normal or not. If the data normal, we will use period sample t test, and if the data not normal, we will use will will one. All the data will calculate using SPSS. Well, that's all from me. Thank you for your nice attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.